We're on the record in case D392854, Cynthia Bali versus Peter Mario Bali. Counsel, your appearances for the record. Good morning. I press the room for Mr. Bay. Okay. And I'm sorry, ma'am. You're... Cynthia Bali, pro se. Okay. All right. Um, this is an interesting one. I had a lot of reading and a lot of reminder research on Honeycutt because nobody cited Honeycutt in this whole, in any motion that we have before me today. Uh, so... I show that this is on today for mom's motion to hold down in contempt for failure to comply with court orders for timeshare involving children and adult issues and talking parents uh, and related relief. Um, I do show an opposition was filed, a lengthy opposition was filed on 729, um, which... I was given last night like 10 minutes to 5. I understand, I understand mom. <laughs> so I'm um, still reading it. I understand, but the, and this is the problem. And this case is currently up on appeal. Yes, it is. When I say Honeycutt, Mom, I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. There yes. is a case called Honeycutt versus mm -hmm. Honeycutt, which talks about when things can be heard during it or not. Yes. So in in your your motion is is clearly for contempt issues. Those things can automatically be heard because it's just to enforce existing orders. However, oh, yes. you have a counter motion. Your client has a counter motion counsel um, for a modification of custody. However, um, my... That's on appeal. Pardon me? The custody is on appeal. Well, that's my question. Um, so this is the issue. I, it's not that I can't hear it, Mom. It's mm -hmm. that I have to certify that I'm likely to hear it, okay. and I'm going to hear a trial, and then you have to go to the Supreme Court to get remand for this court to hear it, counsel. I don't know if you are familiar with the procedure on Honeycutt. I am not, Judge, but I'll, 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 okay. I didn't have sufficient time to brief this. I understand. Uh, the and we, we followed it as quick as we do. And I just when were you first. retained? Uh, I've been retained for, for some time now. I've, I've made the appearances in several uh, several hearings. But um, Are you in bundle counsel or are you in? I'm in. I'm okay. In and so the first time I actually learned of this is when we'll file with the OSD on Friday, Judge. So I, Okay. I, 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 I understand. I understand it was on an OST situation. Okay. Yeah, because I so, haven't seen my son since July 3rd. So let, let's deal with the issues that I have that I can deal with counsel. This is what I'm going to ask both parties to do as far as the other issues that... Um, Mom, explain to me, now I gotta tell you, as I wasn't on the bench back then, yes. um, certainly I, I had to, a lot of research and a lot of review and catch up as you can imagine. I reviewed hearings from this tape. You had Judge Becker, you've had Judge Steele, you have, this is a fi uh, case where it's repetitive filing and. Um, it's never been heard, it just keeps getting pushed down the road and that's why it's. Well, but my law clerk, you know, you know. Ma'am, I gotta tell you, when my law clerk does the first brief for me and then I go through and research everything, she says, boy, mom likes to file motions. So we gotta be considerate that, that I'm not saying there's not a reason for those. I'm saying, look, that, that's a red flag for me to start being very close attention to what you're doing, okay? Fair? It's, and they've all been to enforce orders. Okay, so let's go, I'm gonna go over what I show and what I think as far as your request. Um, it looks like um, what you've requested, I'm gonna let, if you wanna orally argue it as well, Mom, I gotta tell you, as you can see, I have highlighted, I have read it, I have you know, taken the extra measures I can on all of these cases. And I appreciate um, that, thank you. So, uh, but you were basically saying that, that there was a few um, times when he, is not coming uh, there's a problem with the fact that dad now um, is telling your son that the visitation is a different time is this right my son last time I saw him called me crazy and said I'm lying that that's not what mm -hmm. our visitation is and I'm mm -hmm. the current order um, that you have a temporary timeshare is Friday after mom's thing Friday after school and if there's no school at 10 a.m. through Monday at 8 p.m. is that your understanding mom Yes, and there okay. was an occasion, as I stated, where I had to accommodate him um, okay. because of his legal issues, which I did, and mm -hmm. I had to. He wasn't allowed near a school, and he Understand. was going to take the kids to school, so I did that, and he was staying with his mother, and I said, okay, they, I did it for my kids, because mm -hmm. they were already upset that they hadn't seen him. My son blamed me, I didn't let my son know what was going on at the time. Mm -hmm. He thought I was keeping him away from his dad, so I've dealt with a lot of this, and it's not anything I'm doing or not doing. It's just repeatedly this man puts himself So in what position. was your time? So so I'm gonna, I understood that. I read that the part about exactly, the thing. So that was what you had, and then what did you guys start doing? Tell me the time sure okay. you started exercising. So just make sure I have it. He was getting them Friday after school okay. until Sunday night at his So you guys house. just flipped the schedule. Well, and how long were you doing that for? Um, up until he was, I found out he was off house arrest. And then at the time he got off a of house arrest, he, so again, how, what was the period of time? How um, long? How I many put months? it in here. Okay, it was I just about want to clarify. six months, maybe ish, and then we started talking about changing it. And I had told mm -hmm. him because at the time, and I will just say this, he wasn't paying any alimony or child support during his. Okay, again, that is a, what's before. So me. I went out mm -hmm. to got, try mm -hmm. to get a second job, 
and okay. I had just applied for a job that would have been on the weekend. So okay. I had told. So you said this is great, Dad. This this might work because I have a new job right. that's on the weekend, right? Right. Mom? And I said I can't just okay. change it. I got to you know wait. I got to see what. Okay, happens. great. So you agreed that this would yes. remain the schedule for when it was correct. Then I said I didn't take the job. I ended up teaching summer school. So I was out okay. by noon. Okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's what happened. And okay. then I can. And, and then as it went on, I was like, you know, let's just switch back because he would start giving me. Okay, a hard but time. then he didn't want to switch back is the problem, right? right. And I and I, okay. st and I it's because he started mm -hmm. making things up. He would give me a hard time when I had to go get the kids. Mm -hmm. I would repeatedly have to call the police. I mm -hmm. would have to wait for the police. The police would show up. The police mm -hmm. would say, this is a civil matter. You have to go back to court. Mm -hmm. And at the time, we had a um, evidentiary hearing on calendar. Okay, so at the time. Well, and all that part's for appeal. Right, I, I got right. No, but no, what I'm saying is mm -hmm. the reason why I was like, you know, I'm just going to deal with this mm -hmm. until we get into court for the mm -hmm. evidence. So we left it the same schedule that he was doing. And then, uh, yeah, and then how just, long now? How long has been? That okay, was six so weeks, months. Then now we're now yeah. we're how long are we now? Yes, yeah, so now we're in going. May. So this temporary order's been going on since I think we switched. He got arrested in December of 2017, I believe it was. So a year and a half. Just about. Roughly. It was modified, so it wasn't really okay. like. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I agreed mm -hmm. to that just because, mm -hmm. you know, okay. whatever. My kids mm -hmm. need to see him. Mm -hmm. But then he started mixing our parenting plan order with this order and just making okay. up days. And I but, was like, but okay, look, we're done. look, Mom, this is the thing that I put notes in here because I yeah. went through that. On your temporary order, it didn't address holiday. Visit. It didn't modify any of that. That still remains. What their argument is that remains because it did not modify it in this. And the court agrees. Right. And, we, and I've been going by that. Okay. Go but now that. all of a sudden yeah. you're like, no, that isn't going to oh, no, no, happen. No, no, no. So they've had fun. No, no, no. Fun, what I'm trying motion. to tell you is this. Okay. And this is literally what happened. Okay. Um, on the Thursday after school got out, mm -hmm. I get a text message from my son mm -hmm. saying, Dad has us on Thursdays in the summer. Well, there's so, a question about vacation. Says he yeah. gave you a notice way in advance originally. Okay, so yeah, he says he, I had to mm -hmm. ask him when he was taking okay. it. And by the way, 2019, odd year is mine to okay. take mine first mm -hmm. anyway. But I, okay. I said, when were you planning on taking okay. your vacation? And he told you. And, and I said, okay, I'll work mine around it. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now so you got to understand, mm -hmm. i got to go back to school, so you know, I'm I'll work mine in. I took him for one week, and then okay, so we worked it out. That's great. I'm well, glad we didn't work it out because I honored his mm -hmm. vacation time for Fourth of July. Okay. I should have had my son back on the. But 5th. you said, go ahead. Well, no, I said, okay, I'm going to take him from the fifth to you this said, day. Okay, which is the same thing as go ahead. Uh, right. So he mm -hmm. took his vacation or his okay. holiday time for Fourth okay. of July. He was supposed to have him back to me on that Friday because that's my timeshare mm -hmm. anyway. And then I said, I'm also going to, mm -hmm. you know, I'm just going to make this part of my vacation. And he goes, sorry, we're going to be at the lake. So, again, he is keeping mm -hmm. him on my timeshare. Mm -hmm. And then, so that just messed up my whole thing. And then he Okay, and there are you, okay. Yeah, okay. you know what I mean? So I, I read mean, both sides. Just so and then I text him, I said, listen, if you want to mm -hmm. change something, put it in writing, I will look at it. I go, I just want my timeshare. I, that's all I want. Mm -hmm. I want. I have rights as a parent, too. And I should not have to go through this every single time that it's my visitation time mm -hmm. with my child. I've accommodated the man. I've done everything possible to accommodate him. Okay. I've, you know, I, I accommodate his family when I can. I mean, literally, I have done everything and bent over backwards. I didn't come in here and take custody when he was accused of such a heinous thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I said benefit of the doubt. Like, let's, what, let's you know what I mean? On. He's innocent until proven guilty. Yeah, it's, it's about my you. child. I'm but okay. what is happening now, and this isn't recent, Your Honor. I have been in here for 10 years. Same thing he did it with my older child children and it's just trickled down well i saw the the, the affidavits from oh, the older well children. just imagine mm -hmm. reading something mm -hmm. like that and okay is that it mom i did i did read it okay just so all i'm asking okay. for right now i have this on appeal it will be dealt with i'm here because of the contempt issues he is not in and the police told him she has a court order okay but but understand mom the court from your own statements mm -hmm. that you just said even if i don't look at anything right. they said if i don't even look at anything they, they wrote right. to me, okay if i don't look at that at all you've said that whether how you got to that point whether you just acquiesced because you're being cooperative or mm -hmm. whatever that you agreed to this change and now we've got a problem on not it being changed back and though there's no court order so we'll right. deal with that yeah, but yeah, I because what are you supposed to do when there starts to be a problem and they start taking more days Literally, he was telling me I pretty much could see him on Tuesday and Wednesday. That's okay, what it got. Okay, we'll deal with that. We'll deal with that. So, okay. So, so I'm all I'm let, asking you let, for is the enforcement either of this temporary order, mm -hmm. the previous mm -hmm. parenting, whatever you want to enforce. You just want something in I, so we can live and by I and quit having stuff. I got if, you. If mm -hmm. he was following the orders, mm -hmm. 
like he's supposed mm -hmm. to be, we would not be here today. Did you guys change the orders? By your statement, you changed the orders. Okay, so have a seat. Let me hear from this. Okay, so, I accommodated so him. A, a couple things. <laughs> okay, I understand that. And I understand. You know, okay. done accommodating. Okay. First, uh, Mr. Rizzi, uh where is your client? He's actually downstairs, Judge. I, I, I like you. I, I reviewed the history of this case. And I've downstairs? There's no request for him to appear telephonically, counsel, and I expect clients to be here whenever, they're, whenever they whenever And make. that's why, I mean, generally, Judge, at, at the previous hearing, downstairs. Season, um, okay. I've asked them to stay outside. Is that outside. Him, him coming in now? No. No. Okay. I've asked them to stay outside until, if the court, until the court requires his presence because there's just been so much animosity and it's much more productive not to have him here. But the okay. Court, so I will allow you to do that, but look, the problem is I can't now ask him the questions because he's not here, right, counsel? Sure. So I, I, just so you know, for this for the future, since I have only taken this bench as of May 6th, that I expect them to be here unless there's a request to appear telephonically because then I can get them on the phone and still ask them questions if I have. But I will hear you first and we'll go from there, okay? Because I already, I already, mom has said the things that, that are, uh, that I, I needed to know a few details and, and she filled that in. So go ahead, counsel, and, and now it's your turn to argue your opposition and counter motion. Judge, it sounds point. like you've, you've read everything in, in more, more detail than, than, than I, could, I could ask for. And it sounds like your honor is inclined um, to make a decision. Unless you want me to elaborate on a specific issue, I'd be happy to, but otherwise, I'm, I'm more than happy to submit it on the pleadings. Judge, you're not taking any over time. Okay, um, counsel. Uh, so this this is my thought on it. Look, um, you guys have have messed with your order a lot on your own, which you're just totally allowed to do. The court actually. It appreciates the fact when people co-parent and say, we're going to be the parents. We don't need the judge to decide every minutia of your life. Agreed. The court appreciates that, and I appreciate that that's what you did. I think that muddied the water to where the time sure is. Um, so this is going to be more. I'm not holding him in contempt, Mom, because part of the thing is is that you guys all changed it on your own by your own statement and that you're being a co co you know, cooperative parent. I appreciate that again. So um, I'm not ordering. I'm, I'm denying your motion to hold him in contempt. However... Counsel, what's the deal with the order? Is the last order is the last order we have, right? I have the order that mom is to have um, Fridays until till Mondays. That's the last order. What I mean, I saw your your client's position. No, is this and and this is what's happening. And but basically, most of what you argued was we want a motion to modify custody. That was more of the argument that I got when I read your your. Um, opposition and counter motion and I did read like some of the kids affidavits uh, you know I glanced at them I, I, I saw what it is you have issues with your kids you're gonna have to work on that relationship that's nothing I can fix they're adults um, a lot of that is goes to non enforcement okay. of orders okay I'm, I'm gonna disagree because a lot of what you guys have done is you guys have undone the orders yourselves so as far as the, vi the vacation so you're just asking look I want something enforced right mom start we just need to get something set up is that right right now mom I just want him to follow any order, okay. anything, okay. To, uh, name it. Like I, okay. I even said, what mm -hmm. do you want? Like, I, can we follow something? Mm -hmm. But he's being just not reasonable. A reasonable person, that's not reasonable. I'm okay. sorry. It's not. Counsel, what is your what is your client? So look, the last order I have, I'm, I want it. I'm, my inclination is, look, that's the last order I have. It's Friday till Monday. Do you show anything else that I didn't catch because I've had to review a whole history since 2008? Judge, that is the last custodial order mm -hmm. in place. That one is from March 2006. Yep, that's what I have. Mm -hmm. March 2015. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, it had Ponzel's report. I saw the problems. I saw all of that. I read Ponzel's. So you know, what we would ask, stuff Judge, I mean, this, this de facto uh, agreement has been in place for, for almost two years now, a year, little year, over a year and a half. So we would ask that, you know, it's, it's, it's in the best interest of, uh, of, of, of the child that this de facto arrangement be maintained. Uh, if the court's not inclined to consider the modification arguments under the 124C judge, um, the, the appeal, um, they file an extension mm -hmm. to do re a late briefing, so I'm not exactly even clear on what's mm -hmm. going to be on appeal. Mm -hmm. So I was of the impression we could file a motion for to modify mm -hmm. custody. So you can under Honeycutt, you have to request it. That, so this, the court, so the Honeycutt motion, it sounds like mm -hmm. mom has actually read that motion, that or uh, that um, order from the yeah. Supreme Court. I'm well versed in legal stuff. So it has some other issues. Um, so. If you look at it, it says, look, um, you, you filed them, but I need briefing of why it should be heard pursuant to Honeycutt. How does it get me around the, the anybody? How do you guys get around? I, I, I've been on that side of the bench so recently, I keep saying me because I'm used to doing those motions, right? So um, how it get, you guys have to argue, argue give me, I'm going to ask for briefs of why it should be heard right now, counsel. And, and mom, you can do one as well, why it shouldn't be heard. Okay? Well, that, so I, that is going to be yeah. my... It should have been... The resolved issues, the OS, um, the um, evidence. Mom, hearing Mom, I'm just saying my order is look. My order is okay. look. I, right. I'm allowed to request briefing to determine okay. if it should be heard. If your client wants to move forward on that counsel, 
you did put it forward in your motion, but nobody cited how 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 it applies. So I need some factors about the you know, issues on appeal, how it's different. Because see, I can hear collateral matters that right. didn't have anything to do with the appeal. That's the one thing I could hear without without it being a honeycut motion. But anything that's tied to the appeal, I ha it has to be done on a honeycut motion. Then I have to make a determination to let the supreme. We need to let the supreme court know whether if I'm inclined to grant it or deny it. I can deny it. Um, offhand without it being but if I'm inclined to grant it um, then we have to certify the Supreme Court that's the case then they have to determine if they're going to allow me to hear uh, an evidentiary hearing on remand so that's part of what I have to do okay so that's where I um, am and okay. your honor just so you know so the appeal so once they are done with this um, I'm expecting that it will be remanded to this court for the hearing that never happened okay but that's different than this remand. Right. Mom. And all I'm asking for is enforcement mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. the timeshare order. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, because you guys were trying to work together, and I want you to. So this is what I'm inclined to do, and it'll give you, it'll also give you guys time to do any motion, a briefing, if you want it to be heard. Um, I'm, the current order is what the order is, counsel. But right. I'm going to order them to Family Mediation Center to try to work out something new. Because clearly you modified stuff a lot, and clearly everybody's, uh, confused about the other. So I'm denying your motion for order to show cause because of the fact that by your own statements that you you guys had done some cooperative parenting, which kind of makes it a little muddy on what the order should have However, been done. Your Honor, I will say this. The reason we have an order, so if there is a problem, you go to right, the Right, but part of it is by your own statements. You're telling me, ma'am, you've told me all the things we put on, that you've put on the record for me. Show me that you guys were doing a lot of different things. So well, just for the record. Good. So look, I'm starting. We're starting fresh. Okay. I'm for, done for the record, argument. though, I accommodated okay. him. I didn't agree to this. Mom, or I've understood, this. I understood. I heard you. Okay. So um, this is my order. My um, the, the current order um, of the child being with mom from the 315 will continue. All the vacation part in the previous orders remains. Um, and, tell, and I'm going to send them to Family Mediation Center to attempt a new schedule because you guys have lived up with that. And maybe it's time that you revisit it. You're now only down to, you know, one child that we're dealing with that's different than having the two and all of that. So I'm sending them to Mediation Council. In the meantime, I'm ordering if you want to um, move forward on your motion to modify custody, I need a, a proper briefing pursuant to Honeycutt. Okay. Judge, if I may address Honeycutt just okay. really briefly, I did, I, I did read it. I just didn't have a chance to brief it. The I issues understand. that are pending on appeal before the before the court are um, it's on plaintiff's motion for order show cause regarding financial issues only. They were related to the uh, VIN numbers. They related mm -hmm. to spousal supports, mm -hmm. and they related to child support. Um, those issues were addressed uh, at, an, at a hearing in front of Judge Steele. Uh, a motion for reconsideration was filed. We opposed that motion. Mm -hmm. And the appeal, from what I understand, mm -hmm. is of Judge Steele's uh, order and the reconsideration mm -hmm. um, kind of convoluted together. So custody would be a collateral issue. But, counsel, those. this is the other problem that I have with it. Why I'm letting the briefing time also is because you filed it just on the 29th. She hasn't had a chance to do an opposition to your counter motion. Right. So I need to hear all of that, right? So, Mom, in addition to briefing on that, so it would be your opposite to the county motion is really your brief about that, right? You would have had a chance to file something saying, no, Judge, you shouldn't listen to them about the motion to modify custody because of blah, 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 right? Well, this is the problem I have with this because on the appeal to the Supreme Court, um, custody is an issue. This is why we have this temporary order. This should. This was supposed to be heard in 30 days. Okay. It never again, was. Again, I made my ruling. Okay. I made my ruling. You understand, right. counsel, why? Because of that, I want a brief on it. I'm going to allow her to have the brief on the others. I'm sending them to um, Family Mediation Center to see. Maybe you guys can work it out and you guys won't have to come before me. Because, look, if you guys get co-parent for this last child, mm -hmm. maybe you won't have affidavits from another adult I child. And I don't think agree you want that, you. Mom. And this shouldn't have happened in that it just... I understand, but you guys lost. You were communicating a little bit, and you stopped communicating. No, again, oh, and I'm not blaming the blame on anybody. So I don't want to hear anymore. I don't want to hear anymore. May I, don't... I please have the ParentTalk.com because not um, just talking for, parents. You mean? Yeah, the talking parents okay. for this reason, mm -hmm. not just what is said to me, which mm -hmm. is very harassing and Cancel, deprecating. Do you but... disagree with that? I like talking parents because yes. of like. Completely. Yes. Okay, therefore, too. We'll do talking parents. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to order that Thank even you. though who knows if that's violated. You don't understand. But no, that's because a it's not just party. what is said, but the lack of communication is the problem. Too. I understand. And then so, you could show the court, you. look, I requested, I requested, I requested, I requested, and that's the case. Thank okay. you. Okay, I'm, I'm signing a, a, an order for family mediation. Uh, for to try to mediate uh, custodial uh, arrangements, which could resolve all of it, counsel. The return hearing is going to be October 2nd at 11 a.m. Does that work for you, counsel? 
Uh, sure, Judge. I would like to hear it, and I am here that week. I have to go to judicial college for three weeks the next week, so I would, that's why I'm glad it's on this date, because I would like to hear it, because I, I think you've had enough judge changes, ma'am. I... So I'm saying, so that would be my order. So you understand my order? Yeah, just like everybody follow the orders and get on with our life and love our kids. That's yeah, all I want. Yeah, but you know, you get, you, in all fairness, Mom, you guys did modify some of that, whether it's because you were accommodating them, and I appreciate that. I, I've said that's good for you to do that. And now I wish I wouldn't have because now i got more problems. Well... <laughs> Just, but again, just, I, I disagree that that's the uh, case. I think that that then then he they got reliant on that. It's been a year and a half. That's and, the issue. And that's mm -hmm. that's kind of what I want to address before, before we before we conclude. Because he wouldn't judge. change I mean, back. Hold on, refused to. The, this de facto arrangement, Judge. I mean, Christians accustomed to it is. is I understand, Counsel, but the reason for the de facto change was because your client's situation. It wasn't because of mom, right? That, just and now we're down clients. to when when and, and I I agree with mom on one point. She said, look, when we can't start cooperating. The order has to be the default, right? And that's why I say, look, it's the default. If you people can't cooperate and make changes on your own, then I have to rely on the orders, and that's the default, and that's my order right now, counsel, so, until you come how back. Would, how would I advise my client right now? I mean, police go well, you advise him that the, and he, Christian refuses, and he's throwing well, fits. And, and let me tell you this. Christian is what? Going to be 12 in he's October? 13. Or no. He's 13. He's, he's going to be 13. 13. And, Judge, this is a thing. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, Ma, I don't okay. want to hear from you yet. I have something okay. to say on that issue. This is the issue that, uh, for Dad counsel this court does not allow empowerment of a teenager like that if we tell a teenager that they don't have to follow court orders then we have lost sight of the entire society so I believe that this dad tells his son to go to school he tells him to brush his teeth if he doesn't he tells him to go take a shower when he's a stinky teenager because that happens with teenagers so I am sure that he orders this kid to do things this is no different. It's a court order. The court expects it to be. And look at this will actually look bad on dad if he can't facilitate getting that child to, to follow a court order. He makes the kid go to school because the law says the kid has to go to school. I'm sure he tells the kid, don't walk on a red light because the law says this. I'm sure he tells him to do all these things. This court expects him to enforce a court order. I don't allow you, counsel, to avoid a court order, do I? If you came before me and said, Judge, I'm not listening to your court order. I would hold you in contempt, correct? Of course not. Mom, the same thing. If she does that, a 13-year-old child, almost 13-year-old child, um, or uh, I guess he is a 13-year-old child, um, October, right, Mom? Mm -hmm. October 25th. And these things have started to happen. All right, look, Mom, I, I'm trying to nip it in the bud. So Thank you understand, you. counsel, that, that. So you need to advise your client that I expect that he in, makes a, a child understand that they are under this court's orders just like everybody else my marshal has to follow my court orders you know anybody in my courtroom has to follow my court orders so does a 13 year old soon to be 13 year old child so that is what you're going to uh, advise him counsel and if that doesn't happen mom when we um then you can file a motion for it to be to come back before me but but understand that this is look i'm trying to nip it in the bud here because we can't have that happening but it's been happening this is my point. mom i understand that nip is in there any way the police mom officer... i'm really done with this hearing okay. because i've heard you ad nauseum the police are not going to enforce anything right because That's they're not going to no and, and, and i'm, I'm letting dad have them? the opportunity to parent okay because i want everybody to step up and do that so that will be our order counsel um if you'll prepare the order for today um, I've signed the, we signed the mediation and we're going to come back. In the meantime, you both, both have, you have some briefing to do if you want me to hear the rest. Mom, you'd have a chance to do an opposition, which would be your briefing on that, that motion. But please include why it should or shouldn't be heard under Honeycutt, okay? Okay, and then what about the parent talk? Uh, talking parents is ordered. It is? Um, okay. Could we, brochures are right there, they'll hand them to you. Okay. Talking parents Thank will you. be, um, the current order for your primary way to communicate. Thanks. Okay, so that will be it, Council. Anything else I need to address? Thank you, Judge. Okay, thank you. I'll, thank you. I'll look forward to you.